you follow my channel, you know a few weeks ago, I checked out and reviewed the new Dell Latitude 7400 2-in-1. It's a 2-in-1 convertible that really checked all the boxes, especially with battery life. I really highly recommended it. So when Dell hit me up to check out this, their all new Dell Latitude 7300, a clamshell thin and light laptop, I quickly jumped on it. And boy, I'm glad I did. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the Dell Latitude 7300. Coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. Now in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Dell. I'm not being sponsored by Dell. Dell provided this review unit. Once this review is done, I'll be sending it back to Dell. All the opinions are about to hear on my own and no one has seen this video before its release. Now the unit that Dell supplied me with has a 13.3 inch low powered full HD display with a non-touch display 1920 by 1080. It's powered by the 8th generation Intel Core i7-8665U with vPro. That's the Intel Whiskey Lake processor. It's also a quad core processor. The graphics are the Intel UHD Graphics 620. It's got 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and it's also got 512 gigabytes of PCIe NVMe SSD storage. Now they did supply me with the upgraded battery option. It's a four cell 60 watt hour battery. It has a starting weight of 2.75 pounds or 1.25 kilograms. It has a starting price of 1369 and is shipping as we speak by the time this video goes live. But that's enough with the specs. Let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. In the box is your extension cord as well as a 90 watt power adapter that uses a barrel pin connector. You get some safety and warranty information as well as a setup guide. Now holding the unit for the first time, premium build, very high end looking with its all metal design. Dell also sent over the USB-C mobile adapter, a very compact adapter that's the perfect companion to the Dell Latitude 7300, allowing you to take all the necessary ports with you in a small compact adapter, perfect for the business person or the student on the go. And at $79, that's not a bad price considering all the ports that it does give you. Now when it comes to ports, actually I'm not disappointed, it has some pretty good port selections, let's go over that right now. On the right side is a 3.5mm audio jack, a microSD card slot, and below that would be your optional LTE SIM tray. Moving on, you have a USB-A 3.1, and finally a Noble port if you want to lock it down. Moving over to the left side is your power port, a Thunderbolt 3 port, an HDMI 1.4, a USB-A 3.1, and if you choose to get an optional smart card reader, it would go next to that. And it has a military standard 810G rating, making this extremely durable. And yes, for those wondering, you can open it with one finger. The Dell Latitude 7300 runs Windows 10 Pro, but if you need Microsoft Office at a discounted price, if you're running a laptop or a computer with Windows 10 Home and you need to upgrade to Windows 10 Pro that I know a lot of you need to do, check out today's sponsor for some great savings. Today's video is brought to you by LVL Go, your one-stop shop for Windows 10 professional OEM keys, Microsoft Office keys, Steam CD keys, mini games, and so much more. And they all come in at a fantastic price. And I have some even better news. I used to give a 21% discount code for the Windows 10 professional OEM keys. Forget that. It's now 25% off. Even better. Well, what about Microsoft Office? You need that as well? Well, no problem. I got you covered. 18% off with my special discount code. Ordering is easy and safe. Head on over to LVLGo.com for these great savings and remember to use my discount codes and tell them Andrew sent you. Okay, so let's talk about the display, which I think is very good. You're looking at a 13.3 inch full HD IPS display. It has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Now it's got some really deep blacks. It's got some very vibrant colors and it also covers the color gamut very well. You're looking at 98% sRGB, 72% Adobe RGB. So if you're a creative professional that does Lightroom, Photoshop and does video editing, this will get the job done. 
and with an average brightness of 255 nits. This is definitely not the brightest in the category, but definitely bright enough for indoor use. Outdoor use will be okay. This is not a glossy display. This is a matte display, so you won't get those unnecessary reflections or unnecessary glare. Now, having said that, this is a pretty nice display, although I wish it was a tad brighter. Now, it's also a low power display, a one watt display. That means you're gonna get maximum battery life out of this. We'll go over that in just a little bit. And I love the fact that it has some pretty thin bezels, especially on the side. So that gives you a really modern look, not typical of your business laptops you see out there. Now, something to note, there are a few display options. Now, the entry level display option, obviously, is that 720p option. It's low resolution. I would go with that if you're looking to buy these in bulk. A lot of businesses will buy that. But I think for the average consumer, for the average business person, they want to go with, with at least, of course, a full HD resolution. Now there is a touch option. That one comes with the infrared camera, which is Windows Hello compatible. Now the one they sent over to me is the non-touch, super low power display, which is not Windows Hello compatible. It's not an infrared camera on the one they did send me. So just keep that in mind. Now there is a switch to turn off your camera. So it gives you more privacy, more security, but keep in mind, it doesn't turn off your microphone. So this is the front facing camera on the Dell Latitude 7300 clamshell business thin and light laptop so far i'm really impressed with it 720p 30 frames per second i would say it's okay good for skype good for video conferencing that's all we could ask for i think on these laptops uh, i want to know what you think let me know in the comment section below not bad now there is a fingerprint scanner which is windows hello compatible setup was easy and registered my finger pretty much every time i used it Okay, so when it comes to the keyboard, I'm a big fan. I really like it. Really good key travel, about 1.2 to 1.3 millimeters. And I like the fact it has really good tactile feedback. I thought this was very comfortable to type on for extended periods of time. Now, I thought the multi-stage backlight worked really well, lighting up really bright, allowing you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. Now, I thought the precision touchpad worked really well, very responsive, two finger scrolling was buttery smooth, all your Windows 10 gestures worked well. Now, I also like the fact that it has two physical mouse buttons, not something you normally see on ultra portable laptops anymore. Now, when it comes to performance, I was really impressed. In fact, very impressed. Look at these numbers from the Geekbench 4, both the single core and multi-core scores. Very good in terms of when you compare it to some of its competition. Now, as far as what you can do with this, obviously productivity work will be first and foremost with this Microsoft Office, web browsing, doing email, stuff like that. Great for consuming media, watching Netflix, YouTube, excellent on this device, no problems there. Now, when it comes to gaming, of course, this is not a gaming laptop. I think you're pretty much already know that but you can play some older games if you turn down some of the settings as you can see from these results but some of the newer titles some of the AAA titles won't run very well unless you do opt to get a an external GPU because this does have a Thunderbolt 3 port that might be an option but then again it adds to the cost of this laptop so know the limitations when you're dealing with this thin and light ultra portable Now Dell makes it really easy for you to access the inside of this laptop. All you need to do is loosen the captive Phillips head screws, remove the bottom plate, and you're in. Now the good news is the RAM is socketed in. You will be able to upgrade that, as is the case with the SSD, although I don't know why you'd want to because you get some really excellent reads and writes as you can see from these results. Now if you do opt to get the optional LTE, the modem will go over here. And while we're inside, notice that 60 watt hour battery, that's the upgraded battery option. Now, without a doubt, the star of this show has to be its amazing battery life. Now, Dell sent me the one with the upgraded battery option. It's a 60 watt hour battery. It's a four cell battery. And it did 15 hours and 58 minutes on my continuous web surfing test. They do also offer a three cell 42 watt hour battery. Expect about eight to nine hours at least on that one. And in the rare occasion where you find yourself needing to plug in, Dell supplied me the 90 watt power adapter that supports express charge, which will give you 80% in just one hour. And that's really good. 
Now when it comes to the thermals, I think Dell did a really good job. It didn't get overly hot, nothing uncomfortable. You will notice the fan kick in under heavy load, but nothing too loud, nothing too distracting. And I didn't think the thermal throttling was an issue, especially when you're doing everyday tasks. Of course, if you do put it under ha maximum heavy load, it will start the thermal throttle like any thin and light laptop. Now when it comes to the audio, I didn't have high expectations because Dell in the past with their business laptops didn't have the best audio. This actually surprised me despite having bottom facing speakers. They actually sounded pretty good, got pretty loud, and there was a hint of bass. Actually, I was pleasantly surprised. So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the new Dell Latitude 7300 clamshell business laptop? The answer is yes, I highly recommend it. Love its full HD display. Very thin bezels, excellent keyboard, excellent touchpad, very good performance, good thermals, really epic battery life. It was that good. And of course, the audio surprised the hell out of me. Didn't expect it from this thin and light laptop. Now, as far as any potential negatives, of course, this can get very expensive. But then again, when businesses are buying these, a lot of them are buying them in bulk. They're getting some nice discounts from Dell. Dell will run some sales, so consumers should keep your eye out on this because if, if you can get this at a discount, this is a no-brainer. Now, it has a relatively dim display. I would have liked to have seen it brighter, but I understand that with that very low-powered display giving you great battery life, and of course, there's no dedicated GPU option like you get with some other 13-inch laptops in this category. I'm going to give it a score of 94%, making the Dell Latitude 7300 worth your money. So what do you think about this bad boy, the Latitude 7300? Now, I love the 7400 2-in-1, and with its epic battery life, it definitely got my recommendation. This is the same. This is the clamshell form factor, of course. If you're looking more of a traditional laptop form factor, this is it. Now, as far as the build quality, excellent in terms of the latitude we've come to expect. This really did the job. As far as the performance, the Whiskey Lake processor, the quad-core processor really did well. Now, one of the things I'm not crazy about is there's no dedicated GPU option you'd find in other laptops in this 13-inch category, but it still did well nonetheless. Now, if you do want to connect to an external GPU, you can. This has a Thunderbolt 3 port, and that gives you that option. Now, the thing that sets this apart from all the others is, of course, its epic battery life. Now, I didn't think anything would top the 7400 2-in-1 that I took a look at. This did even better. This thing was phenomenal. If you're looking for an all-day battery laptop, don't look any further. This is the champion. And as far as fast charging, it does fast charge uh, not quite as fast as a 7400, but it does support that express charge. If you're looking at about two hours, maybe a little bit less to get a full charge on this. Now, as far as everything else with this, I really do like it. So if you're a business user, if you're a student, definitely take a look at this. If you're definitely in the market for a thin and light laptop, look no further. I really do like it. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.